Hello, I'm John Davis and welcome to this latest Waterman's No Ticket Required Film Club. We're going from strength to strength with 70 of you last week for The Woman Who Ran and a very spirited discussion. One of the joys of cinema, and I hope our cinema club, is surprise. Seeing something you might never have thought of, a film from an unfamiliar culture or country, or in a genre you'd normally avoid. And so far we've watched rom-coms, biopics, costume dramas, old classics, and toured the world from South Korea to the west coast of America. Our choice this time, Eastern, will, I hope, also be a surprise. It attracts me in several ways. It's from Poland, a country I find endlessly fascinating and frustrating since working on documentaries about it for the BBC in the 1980s. It's made also by a new young filmmaking talent, Piotr Adamski, from a generation born in the years when Poland was changing from its communist past to a modern European state, though with some challenges. Adamski was born in 1982 his first film and he doesn't even have his own Wikipedia page, not even in Polish Wikipedia. And when I put his name in uh, the search engine I was directed rather strangely to a page on Polish plumbers. And this leads me to an interesting if slightly sideways anecdote. In 2004 a French politician Philippe de Villiers started campaigning against people coming to France and undermining the local workforce by having the temerity to charge less, work harder, and actually answer their emails. Are you listening, Monsieur Alno? That roof isn't going to fix itself. Anyway, the tourist board saw the funny side of this and hired another Piotr Adamski, a Polish male model, to feature on a Polish tourism board campaign, which used the Polish plumber stereotype to invite the French to visit Poland for their holidays. But I digress. And luckily, Michael Brook, Polish film expert, will be with us to keep me in order. Choosing Eastern is also something of a risk. It's a film that's not had much exposure and could be the gold dust or coal dust. So let's have a look at the trailer. Hello. Możesz urazić honor człowieka, gdy nazwiesz go kłamcą w obecności innego człowieka, naplujesz na niego, zastraszysz go albo pobijesz, ogolisz mu głowę. <śmiech> Zignorujesz jego słowo honoru, będziesz miał romans z jego żoną, pogardzisz jego bronią? Postawa. Proszę przyjąć moje kondolencje. Masz jeden napój, jeden strzał. Prosto w głowę. A jak nie trafię? Trafisz. The few reviews I have read have generally praised its style, and one in The Guardian looked at it in a wider frame that you might consider when you watch it. It said, The film's answer also seems to contain an indirect comment on the current state of conservative nationalist politics in Poland. Ultimately, in this world, as in ours, an insult to male pride can be used to justify any manner of slaughter and suffering. And the Cine Europa website said in a similar vein, the two lead actresses holding guns are the film's shooting stars, nice pun, sharing wonderful on-screen chemistry and charisma. Their rebellion resonates perfectly with current events in Poland in terms of feminist protests and a battle for gender equality. So join me, Michael Brook and John and Joanna from Waterman's on February the 8th. I look forward to seeing what you will make of Easton, which you can watch now on Curzon Home for only £4.99 or £3.99 if you're a member. And this is what you do now.